I think we're about two hours in and still no water. Uh, because you dirtied all the dishes. There's creatures everywhere. Just making sure there was not a snake in here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My fishing pole broke. Texas. We're very excited. We're very happy. Spirits have been lifted today big time. We are in Lake Corpus Christi State Park, which is one of our very, very favorite places in Texas. It's one of our very favorite state parks. We've been trying to get here for, I think we're three days late, maybe four days late um, from when we were supposed to be here. So we're very happy. Sorry, my hair's a little wind blown to show you how crazy it is. I wish I had a temperature gauge, the truck temperature gauge today. When we pulled in, it was at 80 degrees to a place that was like completely frozen before. So they're faring really well here. We were told by the state park people that they didn't lose their electricity here and they did not lose their water. They're on their own water system. So that's really great. We're just trying to get set up and kind of settled in after like a crazy it's been a harder drive than usual because it's a two, we did a two-day drive instead of like usually we do a one-day drive and we stop but we did a two-day drive to get here it also was like three or four days of like constant just checking weather and trying to figure out what we we're going to do so it's just been we've just kind of been a little on edge and not quite on our A-game, which also means, because that whole time we had to reserve, res conserve our resources. So a lot of times we were trying to go with little water or we had to be okay if the power went out and that kind of stuff. So um, we didn't get uh, this coming week that this vlog, or this week that this vlog is coming out, we didn't get our shows taped. So, we've got to do some major catch up this week. So we got to, that'll probably be tomorrow, like, sitting down and really hashing out when all the taping's going to happen. The great news is the weather is beautiful. So, like, the outdoor shots and stuff that we want to take for the vlog are going to be easy to get. Now it's just catching up on everything. But we're very, very happy. We're very, very excited. Um, Mikey very much I think wanted to be in Texas when his album dropped so that was a little bit of a bummer but now we're here we're gonna try and do some cool stuff while we're here and then we're also like I said gonna try and get caught up on our taping I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna put on the channel because all the plans just kind of got thrown out the window oh yeah and after weeks of not having full hookups we have full hookups which means I can do laundry finally because we've been like keeping our laundry. <laughs> it's like pouring out of the laundry basket. Um, so I can finally start catching up on laundry. And that's like the adultest thing I've ever said. And I can't believe I'm excited about it, but I really am. That addition of having a washing machine, especially with humans and dogs and camping, it's just nice to have like something gets dirty, no big deal, we'll throw it in the washer definitely have been missing that so happy to get back at that there he is again this guy's friendlier though Well, we've been trying to maneuver. It looks like we have the ingredients for one recipe, but not the other one. So we're gonna have to tape a, a kind of a, sorry, we can't do Wednesday's video video. So we're gonna do that. 
In the meantime, Obi's just had a bath. Anyhow, Obi's just had a bath, but now he's filthy dirty. So Mikey's gonna blow the leaves out of our little area where we're trying to kind of hang out out here. Always so. come prepared with the proper equipment. He has a leaf blower. We, for those of our viewers, don't you blow that at me. We use that to clean off the top of our slides. So we keep that with us to make it easy to blow off the top of our slides in between stops. So, but right now, Mr. Fix It is gonna make our little picnic area less leafy. Come here, Obi, show him how dirty your face is after your I bath. just bathed him. Obi, here, show him, show him. Show them how dirty you got. <laughs> Nobody loves me like my dog. In his eyes, I can do no wrong. Makes me feel like I belong. Love so much, I wrote in his own song. Nobody loves me like my dog. Here's a pro. Mikey is trying to get ready to tape. We ran into a little snafu. This park hasn't lost water. Um, the entire time during the crisis, but this morning when Mikey was getting ready to go and do all of our dishes, there was no water. So we called and they said they think it's, they're just doing a little maintenance and that it'll be back on here in just a second. So hopefully that's what's going on. I'm out here working. I got to work on a blog post. Um, we had to cancel one of our videos this week because we just couldn't make it work. So, um, hang on. Making sure there's creatures everywhere. Just making sure there was not a snake in here. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm going to sit here, get some work done. Um, while Mikey gets, hopefully, is able to get the kitchen ready to do a show. I'm not a tape a show, but a lot of people have been asking where we're at. Uh, at the time of this taping, we are at Lake Corpus Christi, which is one of our favorite state parks. We really like it here, and we're hoping later today to be able to show you guys around a little bit. Um, we've got several Texas locations planned this trip, so hopefully um, things will go as planned. We haven't had a good track record of that, though. Hey y'all, just a quick update. We are safe and warm in... Oh my goodness. Texas. <laughs> we did not get a chance to cook a video for this week. Cook a video? Cook a video. Video and cook? And frankly, it's too nice to be sitting inside. I'm gonna go fishing today instead. <laughs> well, in retrospect, it would have probably been smart to have filled our water tank even though we were reassured everything was fine um, in this park and that they hadn't had that they were on their own independent water system and that everything that they fared everything well like it would have made a lot of sense if we had just filled up our water tank so that if by chance something happened we wouldn't be kind of waiting. Right now, we have water in our tank, but if this is only an afternoon thing, I wouldn't have a problem using it to wash dishes right now and do all the things. But if this potentially is a long-term problem, we wanna be a little bit smarter about that. So we're just kind of waiting it out, waiting to see Hopefully it is what he was told on the phone, that it's just an hour or two. But so far, I think we're about two hours in and still no water. I think. I'm not positive. I've been working, trying to distract myself. <laughs> so yeah. Hmm. What happened, Pig? Well... I got up too early. <laughs> I mean about the water. No, I thought you meant not the fact not just... true confessions of a napping food blogger. I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> Every time they were doing some work on their water lines down here and uh-huh. It, it shut everything off. Sorry. It <laughs> shut everything off and 
after you hear about, you know, Texas not having water because everything, you start going, uh oh. <laughs> Especially when it's 85 degrees outside, yeah. which I'm not complaining. Uh, but no, they were just working on some water lines, but it came back on, so. I'm You're gonna go there. tape. I'm gonna go do your dishes. Good. Because I'm a good little husband. Uh, because you dirtied all the dishes. <laughs> I'm a good little husband. And, uh, and I'm going to go make some pork steaks. Yes. On Foodie Grill. Yeah. For a late lunch. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Love you. Well, we finally were able to tape. We have water again. And Addie and I decided that we're going to show you around a uh, camp with the GoPro and uh and the bikes so here we go ow mm -hmm. what would you do if your last cards were drawn Six months from now, you'd be gone Would you thank the doctor for his time? Go and live your best life Would you lose yourself in a bottle? Would you make love to your wife? Would you pray that Jesus saves you? Meet you in that great beyond Six months from now when you'll be gone Oh, six months from now You'll be gone how hot it is out there. It's like, it's at least 85. I, I don't, I have to look at my phone to see if it's hotter than that. It's 88 degrees. A week ago, we couldn't travel here because it was under freeze, freezing conditions and it's 88 degrees today. <laughs> Whew. Um, we do have our water back. I'm not sure if I told you that or not. Uh, Addie and I just got back from a bike ride and I'm gonna hopefully uh, get Mikey to go with me to go on a bike ride so that um, he can he does really good uh, uh, wide camera shots other than you know just with the GoPro so we're gonna go hopefully take that they've got karate tonight and I've got a recipe test a recipe for next week so Mikey we had a reader ask about um, some stew meat or cubed beef recipes, and so Mikey came up with an idea and he wants me to test it. So I'm going to be testing that and see if that might be our Foodie Friday for next week, um, which we need to tape this week. So we're not, so we're constantly not behind. That's that's the hope, anyways. But tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so we're trying to learn from our mistakes and uh, not not tape the outdoor shots um, while it's nice out even if it's almost 90 degrees that is crazy once I round him up I'm gonna head back out I think well it sure smells good gotta do a taste test pretty good. It's like that Mikey might know something about recipe development or something. So we are in Texas. Finally, we're down at Lake Corpus Christi State Park, which is our favorite state park in all of Texas. Anytime that we go through this state, we always make a, at least a week stop here, if not longer, uh, because of the cold weather that came through here. We got stuck in Louisiana for a few days, so it shortened our trip. And so I told Chris, I'm like, I know we have to tape cooking videos. 
I know that's part of what we do. I need to promote the music and everything, but daggone it, I'm going to take this nice, beautiful day, and I'm going to go fishing, right? Well, here's the problem. I reached in my truck to get a fishing pole, and this happened. Yeah, that's right. My fishing pole broke. So knowing that the situation was not that good in Texas and hearing stories about gas stations running out of fuel, I went to the store and grabbed a couple more diesel cans so that we would have plenty of fuel in case we got somewhere where we needed it and couldn't get any at a gas station. And I filled up the tanks and I set them in the back of the truck and I lost my grip on the last can, set it on my fishing pole, my favorite fishing pole. So I got permission from the boss. I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna get a couple new fishing poles. Maybe three. So the shopping trip is over. I've got mask face. Uh, went by HEB and grabbed a little bit of groceries for mama. Had to run over to Walmart to get a couple new fishing poles. And um, I got this rig I'm gonna try and set up that I can put in the back of my toolbox so that I'm not smashing my new poles or my old poles. We'll see if that works. And then of course I stopped at this little, little bitty gas station in Mathis uh, and grabbed some bait. So, got me some worms, some shrimp, and some shad. We're gonna see if we can catch us some big old fish with it. Find out here in a minute. I almost forgot I had to pick up my fishing buddy. You gonna go fishing? Huh? He gonna, hope you gonna go fishing with me today. You gonna go fishing? See, let's go catch a fish, Dad. Let's go catch a fish. Hey. Hey, let's go catch a fish. Let's go catch a fish. Hey, I like fishing. Yeah, it's nice. three maybe four still no fish sure hope Chris is cooking something back at the trailer right now <laughs> oh but good news I booked a show in Terlingua Texas on April 2nd anybody in the audience near Terlingua Texas want to come by and say hi April 2nd Mavericks Ice House Terlingua Texas from 6 to 9 You're more than welcome to Nobody else around It's just you and me And Mother Nature's band That's all that's gonna see What's going on And me and the mitty bitty crickets and frogs. Oh, crickets and frogs. Crickets and frogs. They're out to the night. They're playing our song. So pretty out here. And the birds are out, the deer's all eating, and you know, some fellas getting ready to do some fishing for the day. And I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get into when we talked about exploring the park again today. Speaking of fishing. Um, and I know Addie and I have karate later on this evening. I must be racing. I don't know what got me up this early this morning. I'm never up. I'm never up before sunrise. But come six o'clock this morning, I just got up and thought, you know, I'm just gonna go down there by the dock and sit and pray and just kind of enjoy the morning. It's so peaceful and quiet down here until the boaters came out. But just another reason I love Texas. It's big enough that everybody can kind of have their own space and still enjoy life together so uh good news on the album it's out on itunes now that's out on apple music i saw that this morning uh, i think that also kind of got me up kind of wondering if that finally got put out there so uh, if you haven't listened to it yet the new album redneck rockstar is out on all digital platforms now uh, if you want a cd you got to come to a show and I'll be posting them as, as I'm able to uh, get a chance to book more. I finally booked a show in Texas last night um, down in Terlingua, so I'm pretty excited about that. But for now, I think I'm going to go fill the truck up with fuel before I run out, 
and well, I'm gonna put a hat on this. My gosh, I need to shave my head again. Look at that, that's a mess, y'all. And I bald in the weirdest places too, look at that. Hair on the side, no hair here. Now you know why I wear a hat all the time. Okay, so before I was gonna head back to the RV and I didn't wanna wake up Chris, I know she'd probably still be sleeping. I decided to run down the road here to uh, this little local Mexican restaurant that uh, I've had lunch here before, um, one of the times I was down, but uh, I've never had like a, a, an authentic Mexican breakfast. So I just said, give me whatever you would eat for breakfast. And so I'm waiting to see what they bring me. Got out of the truck, sat down at the table, and literally 20 feet in front of me are three doe out having their morning breakfast. So I'm gonna have breakfast with the deer. Let's see how we did with this place. I got a couple breakfast tacos. They call them tacos locos because I guess they've got everything plus the kitchen sink in them. Um, a couple small things of salsa. And then just in case. I also got biscuits and gravy. You never know. But let's go for one of these tacos. Oh that thing is huge. If I hold it just right, it's as big as my head. It's got bacon and looks like chorizo, eggs, onion, cheese. I'll put a little bit of salsa on there. You gotta have some of the salsa. That's how it's made. All right. Let's see how we did. Mm. There's potatoes. There's jalapenos. Mm. Good stuff. I think I'm gonna save that other one for Miss Ab. I bet she liked that. And there's no way I can eat two of those. <laughs> so the lady asked me at the counter, she's like, you know, what would you like for breakfast? I said, whatever you would eat for breakfast, that's what I want. And I said, I want something really good. I said, oh, I'd also like some biscuits and gravy just in case. <laughs> and uh, she says, well, I'll get you a, a taco, tacos locos. I'm like, okay. That's fine. I trust you. Whatever you would eat. She goes, how many you want? And I said, three. And her eyes got really big. She goes, you want three tacos? I'm like, so they're really big? She goes, oh, yeah. I said, oh, get me two. She kind of looked at me and shook her head. Now I see why. Because there's a lot. Mm. I think Addie will like it, though. Okay. So I got the biscuits and gravy as a backup. Oh, my gosh. The biscuits are house-made. And they're so fluffy, and the gravy is creamy, so I didn't fail either way. Neighbor's kids are up. So you ever get caught in a project and totally forgot you're supposed to vlog it? Or is that just me? Because I just did a project, um, trying to stay organized with the truck and everything, and um, my, my previous issues with fishing poles. And so instead of just laying my fishing poles in the back of the truck, I went to Walmart and got a couple pieces. And I think it's going to work. I hope it works because uh, <laughs> I don't know how many more fishing poles Chris is going to let me keep buying. But here's what I did. So instead of them just laying in the back of the truck, if you look right there, I've got a mount. And it's just screwed into the toolbox right there. And those clamps just clamp right on to the handles of the fishing poles. And on the other side, I took a screwdriver organizer and mounted it into the toolbox. That way you can slide the tips of the poles in there. And so now they'll ride in the back of the truck without me smashing them with all kinds of stuff. I hope, because my fishing budget's really going down. <laughs> 
Well, today is our last day at the state park. It's supposed to be rainy. It's a lot cooler and drearier outside today. And the park is also working on their water again today. So, but they gave us warning. So we were able to make sure and shift our over to our tanks. Anyhow, that just, that is important for us to know because it is our last day. And tomorrow I have a business meeting right before we have to leave. So I need to make sure and do all the dishes and get everything packed up tonight. So that helped me do a little bit better time management for today. Um, anyhow, I'm sitting here. I just uh, finished up um, Foodie Friday for this week. Mikey uh, taped the uh, pork shoulder steaks. And I went ahead and got that up on the blog. And so now I'm just working on editorial for the next couple weeks to try and update our plans. And then I think Mikey's going fishing this evening. Oh, and that recipe last night worked out wonderful. So that's going to be our Foodie Friday for next week, I think. So now I just have to figure out what our midweek recipe is going to be. Make sure we have all those groceries so that when we get set up at camp tomorrow we can plan when we're going to tape those two recipes. So, we're finally back on track, I think. Yay! <laughs> I'm just going to get to work then. Subscribe.